Can I make it down? What's up, guys? Ah, good, good. Just keep going. Go. What's crack a lack at home? What up, bitch? <laughs> Tennis so <laughs> Where's Hanny? So guys, if you guys didn't know, recently I did get a breast augmentation, um, which some of you guys, some of a lot of people don't know what that is. It is the boob job, so short for boob breast augmentation, short for boob job. Just want to make it clear that I'm not against any surgery, and honestly, you guys shouldn't be against it either. It's your body. If someone else wants to do something to their body, it's none of your business. So I'm just sharing my experience. I just want to share my experience with you guys and let you guys know a little bit more about breast augmentations and if you guys have any questions go ahead and DM me and let me know. I did ask you guys to DM me a lot of questions and you guys did so I'm going to be answering them in this video and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a vlog of um, how my experience went. Um, but if you guys want to watch the vlog and watch me answer questions just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I just put on a sports bra to show you guys like the before. Like if you can't tell, like I have no titties. Like I have a little lump, but that's it. Guys, you messed up I feel Not okay. Put your book in my morning of. I'm looking really rough. They said no makeup, bags and all. Where's my closet? Yours is. Yours is right here. This is not okay. Nothing's fixing that. Um, how do you feel right now? I feel amazing. Yeah. Just telling something else. In 1.4 miles, turn right on Mercy Road. So did it? So did it go in or no? Did you get that? Uh, no, let go it again. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, I feel so good. Uh, Continue. I'm on now. So what's the deal? How do you feel out of me? Hey, Amanda. Hey, what? Wait, is that how you No. <laughs> hey, Amanda. You're supposed to go, hey, Amanda, how do you feel? No. Yeah. And then you just say what? You're supposed to, no, I don't say what. Hey, Amanda. What? <laughs> How you feel? <laughs> I feel scared. Oh, I feel so scared. Oh. 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 Amanda's coming out. She just finished everything. Right. Amanda, how do you feel? I've been looking really rough today, so I'm just going to show you my after. So these are my titties. They're really, really swollen right now. Okay, let's get straight into the questions. So a lot of you guys asked me why I got it. Well, I got it because honestly, I've always wanted it and I've always wanted boobs. My sister has boobs, my mom has boobs. Everyone I know has boobs and I just always wanted them. So, and trust me, I love them. Like I love, I love the, I don't know. I love the look of cleavage. You know, is that weird? Is that weird? 
I don't know if that's weird. I love the look of cleavage and I love the look of boobs. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me some boobs. Um, but I've always wanted them. Honestly, I was most insecure about my boobs. I would always put a sticky bra under my bra and like push my boobs together and then put a bra on top just so it looked like I had bigger boobs. And yeah, I was like so embarrassed when Adrian would like like see it or notice it because I'm just like crap like <laughs> my boobs look good but they ain't really this big but yeah it was just a big insecurity of mine that I decided to fix so it's like yeah why so the doctor that did do my breasts is Dr. Tanasia from My Look Surgery um, I will link his Instagram down below and then I'll also put um, the website to My Look Surgery as well so you guys can go check that out. You guys can go check out his work on his Instagram. He doesn't just do boobs, he does BBLs, he does um, lipo, he does all types of stuff. But um, he is a really good doctor. He's done a lot of boobs. He's done um, a lot of my friend's boobs too. And that's how I kind of found him. I found him through my friends, through like Alondra and Elsie, and then also through like Instagram. I checked him out. Um, but yeah, so I really liked his work and I really liked how natural he made the boobs look and how, how like they're natural, but you can also know like they're kind of fake, which is kind of what I like and what I wanted. Like, I don't care if people know my boobs are fake because like I'm, I'll admit it. Like if someone asks, are your boobs fake? I'm be like, hell yeah, they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, like he does an amazing job. So you guys should go check him out. Also, you guys have, a lot of you guys have been asking me about the price. So the price for um, a breast augmentation, it varies around 4K to like 5K, depending on the doctor you get. So, um, and depending on the implant you get. So my implant is saline. So saline is like a silicone based shell with like sterile um, salt water inside. So mine's like a salt water based kind of like implant um, rather than silicone is, I think it's just like silicone inside. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. I don't know what silicone is. Silicone, silicone. I got saline. So all I know what saline is. Um, but um, I was told that if saline ruptures in your body, that it's safer for you rather than if silicone ruptures in your body, it's um, not as safe for you. So that's why I did also get saline. Also, um, the people I know that got their boobs in, like my friends, they got saline as well. And I liked the feel and the look of it. So I was like, okay, let's just get saline. So I did get... 340 cc's of saline so actually one boob is 340 and one boob is 350 just because this one was um, a lot smaller than this one. but yeah so I did get um, two different sizes so one's 350 cc's and one's 340 cc's so um, I was kind of confused when they told me like cc's I'm like okay like what bra size would that be like that's what I kept asking every time they were like 280 cc's 400 cc's like I'm like okay just tell me like the bra size so I can like get a picture of it so 340 cc's is supposed to be like a solid C. I was gonna get 280 cc's, which is a solid B, but I did feel like that would be a little too small and I didn't wanna go a little bigger just cause I don't wanna um, like get my, a boob job and feel like my boobs are still too small. So I did go a little bit bigger, so I decided for 340 cc's, which is a solid C. Um, I did notice on like in Victoria's Secret, I am a D, but um, in most like other like in other places where like they sell bras and stuff i'm a c so i just think victoria's secret kind of like runs a little bit small but um other than that like i love the size i got i got the size that i felt was right for me i didn't let anyone really like tell me um what size to get or like what i should get i just kind of picked it myself i was like okay it's my body what will look the best on me like what won't take away from my body because I like the way my body looks. The only thing is I want a little more boobs. So that's what I had to think about. I was like, I don't want my boobs too big where it takes away from my body. And then I don't want my boobs too small where it just looks like I have the same body. Um, but I did get a really good size for my body shape. So I think that's one thing you guys need to really take in consideration. Just get what you want and get what feels like would look good on you. Um, so the prep before surgery um i did have to come with my nails not painted at all cut not painted like just plain bare nails um i did do that to my toes as well um what else did i have to do 
you have to no makeup at all whatsoever so if you couldn't see in the video i had no makeup i was looking a little rough but i had no makeup whatsoever you do have to come up and you do have to go with a zip up jacket and some sweats so i did go with the zip up jacket sweats you have an option to either bring your own bra or buy a bra while you're there i decided to buy a bra while i was there just because i didn't know what size would fit me um after surgery and I'm glad I did that because I did buy a bra before my surgery and I bought a small because they said I would still fit like smalls. And after, after my surgery when I was able to put another bra on, when I tried on the sports bra, me and my mom like put it on. And it, they always say you get the ones that zip in the front just so it's easier to put on so you don't have to like lift up your arms because you can't lift up your arms. Um, but me and my mom put it on and we like zipped it all the way up and then that shit just bursted so i recommend buying the bra that they give you just because it is a bra made for after surgery so during surgery so the so a lot of people a lot of you guys are saying like does it hurt during surgery like does the surgery hurt like do you feel anything honestly once you're put under anesthesia you don't feel a damn thing like you don't feel shit like I kid you not, I, that was the scariest part for me because I was like, oh my god, I'm scared. I've never been under anesthesia. I don't know how it's going to feel. I don't know this. Like, oh, 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 oh. But, um, <laughs> he didn't sleep. What the fuck? <laughs> but honestly, um, I was honestly, they made me feel really comfortable. They put you in a gown. I had a cap. They lay you down. And then once they lay you down, they start talking to you. Little do you know that they're putting the anesthesia in your IV. But they were just talking to me and then um, I was like praying to myself. I was just like praying to myself. And like in the middle of my prayer, like, I was like knocked out. Like I literally knocked out and I woke up in a whole nother room. And I kid you not, it was like the quickest thing ever. Like it was sleep up, like I'm up. And honestly, like when I woke up, I didn't feel any pain. I just did feel like pressure in my stomach. Like someone just had like a weight on my stomach, like a 10 pound weight or something. On oh, my stomach, oh my god, so loca on my fucking chest. My stomach, what the? Got some implants on my stomach. But yeah, so it just felt like there was like a lot of weight on your chest. But it wasn't bad, it was like tolerable, but I was like a little drugged up. It did give me like pain meds while I was like asleep so that when I woke up it wouldn't be as painful. But um, yeah, I just felt like there's pressure on there. You wake up, which good. And they pretty much, like, they put the bra on you already. Like, I woke up, and I'm like, <laughs> I woke up, I looked under, and I was like, whoa, I got boobs. And they had the bra on me already, and they are like, all right, we're just going to, like, discharge you. You're good to go. Surgery does take about 30 to 45 minutes. It's really, really fast. Um, to make people feel better, to make me feel better, they told me that that's, like, the easiest surgery a surgeon can do is a poop job. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'm all scared to death. I'm like, okay. Thanks. But yeah, honestly, like it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. And then so after surgery, you do have to take your meds and you do have to take them all at a certain time. You need to make sure. You do have to have someone with you for the next, I think, 40. Oh my god, can you stop barking, please? Tank. So after surgery for the next 48 hours, you do have to have someone helping you because you can't lift yourself up at all. Like literally, I couldn't lift my arms past like right here and then I couldn't lift my chest at all. Like Adrian had to literally come behind me and like lift me up just so I can get up. Um, I could barely honestly put my pants down. You just feel like really sore. It feels like you did like a thousand push-ups and like oh it was just it was just, it just felt really sore like it wasn't like terrible pain but it, it just felt like really sore but like basically you're on bed rest you can't lift up yourself for like probably i couldn't lift up myself for like two days on the third day i was like trying to like i was like f it you know i gotta i gotta eventually do it myself so i would like lay on one side and lift with the side that hurt less like that hurt the least and then i would push myself i would like grab my chest and push myself up but yeah after the third day um the pain goes away gradually but um god i keep saying but and i'm sorry I do feel hard at first you do have to massage them and they'll go down but my boobs were saggy um my boobs were small but a little bit low like my boobs were kind of saggy so getting the boob job it just made my boobs go like up to here my boobs go up to there so they didn't look really like 
abnormal they didn't look high as shit so i was like okay well it's whatever like i don't need the strap um so i was like i'm just not gonna wear it i want them to stay high um or as high as possible because i know they're gonna go down later so i just wanted to keep them high um so I just kept on massaging them. I honestly massaged them really early. I massaged them like the second day. I just started like touching them, like feeling them, squeezing them a little bit just because I felt like they were really hard and really sore. Um, but yeah, and then honestly I got back up and like got back to working after a week. Um, I really, I had a really good recovery. I have heard of bad recoveries and I've heard of good, good uh, I've heard of bad recoveries and I've heard of good recoveries and I just happened to be one of the good recoveries that happened like really quick really fine like I went through my recovery really smoothly I had minimal bruising which a lot of people do have a lot of bruising I know my friends did have a lot of bruising uh, and they were surprised when they looked at me and they're like you have no bruising like what the heck they're like what the and I was like I don't know uh, but yeah, so it really all depends on you. I guess I don't bruise that easily because I didn't have any bruising at all. Honestly, had no bruising. Actually, I did have a little bruising like on the side, which was the only time that hurt was that bruising on the side just because my that's where my arms hit. So like I just had like bruising right there and so it hurt to put my arms like down because it would just hit it all the time. Uh, but it wasn't like black bruising. It was just like a really light, like yellowish bruise that went away after like a week. Um, most people do get like dark bruises, like actual bruises, just because it is like an excision. You are being rough on your boob. Um, but yeah, so like I had minimal bruising. I did have a lot of swelling. Like I remember I took out my bra and I was like, whoa. It's like, whoa, you're a little big, fam. I was like oh, freaking out because they did look really big, but then I was like, okay, I come down, they're gonna get smaller, you're gonna look fine. Um, what I do recommend is getting scarring creams for after you get your stitches off, just because um, you do scar a lot. I'm just kidding. Just because you do scar, of course, because there is an incision. The incision is about this big, um, maybe even smaller. It's like this big. Um, I'm all like. It's like that big. Um, it's not a big incision, um, and if you put scarring cream, it will go away. Stretch marks. So, when you do get breast augmentation, since your boobs do go from one size to a bigger size, you do tend to get stretch marks. I didn't see my stretch marks come in till literally now, and it's two weeks post-op. Um, it's two weeks. <laughs> two months post-op. So I didn't see it till after like the second month that I started getting stretch marks like around right here and they're red so they're fresh um, so just make sure like after the doctor gives you the A-OK -okay to put like product on like once after you get like your stitches like once you can put your scarring cream on highly recommend putting stretch mark lotion on just because you will get stretch marks and I regret not putting it on sooner just because I did get stretch marks and um, I'm like struggling with them right now and trying to get rid of them which is wrong just like he has stretch marks you know like that shit's difficult shit don't come off uh, after surgery you're pretty much fine like you're gonna be a-okay like if you guys are scared about it don't be scared i'm not um telling you to go out and get a boob job do you like i'm just letting the people that do really want one and are scared to get one letting them know like what's up letting them know like don't be scared, like if you want one, go ahead and do you. If you don't want one, don't get one. If you don't care for one, then don't watch this video. Um, but yeah, this is just to inform a lot of people because a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions. And if you guys do have a lot more questions, just go ahead and DM me, I will answer your questions. Um, my my Instagram is going to be down below, at Cinebaby, just DM me with your questions and I'll answer it as best as possible i don't know a lot about it i know as much as i just said so um i will if there's a question that i don't know i will try to find out the answer and i'll try to figure it out for you guys just so you guys are informed and know a lot about it but thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it this is something hard for me to really share just because i'm not used to i'm not used to talking about this and i'm not used to being so open about my life 
but um, I do want to let you guys know everything about me and I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos with Adrian. Yeah, we will be coming out with a lot more videos. We're just settling into our new apartment and we did recently get into a car crash. So there's just a lot going on. But um, we will be filming more videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification button to see when we post. Okay, bye guys. Hi. <laughs>